Hey guys. Hi. I'm Hannah. I'm Brandy. And you're listening to Not, Not So Serious, Serious podcast. podcast. I had to think about the podcast name. I forgot what it was. <laughs> I was about to say the other podcast name. <laughs> it has been a hot minute. Since Over a month. We gave you an episode, so apologies. We don't take things seriously around here. We literally don't care. So welcome back. <laughs> With that being said, we do work. Um we don't I, we, I wish I could just do this for a living if I could do this Facts. for a living I would because I'm I'm such a creative person like but work drains you so much yes. and like it's hard to get on here like with work and mental right. health and and now that running I, around and doing stuff like it's hard yeah. to have time to do stuff like this I know and now that I have a side business too it's like really hard because I'm working at work and then I'm working at home and I just work all the time. And on my days off, guess what? I'm still working. Yeah. Don't get a day off. But I am taking a day off today. Um, not really, because we're doing this. <laughs> but um, if you're here, please like this video and subscribe to us. Uh, we, you know, do episodes when we want to and we have time. But we're pretty funny and cute and gorgeous. So please <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> you, like, just said it with just, like, a bland, just, like. We yes, we're funny. Y'all didn't believe it because I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it either. Anyways, uh, it would help us out a lot if you subscribe to this channel and follow us on all of our social media, which I will have linked in the description below. And yeah, give this video a like. It helps us out and motivates us. And if you're here, we appreciate you listening or watching, whatever you prefer. Yeah, because we literally do this for free just when we can and for your entertainment. Like we said, we'd like to be able to do it more, but we need to know that people are going to be here to watch it. Because if right. we're not going to have people here, I mean, we're doing it for ourselves. Right. So, but we're here today. But it's fine. Like, we like doing it. We're not saying, we're not being yeah. forced to do it. This is something we like to do. There's we just actually know a guy that behind the camera people are here um, saying, do it. It'd be funny. There's really stuff that happens like that for real. I know. That's scary. He said to shut up. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm looking. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my hair in this and it looks so bad. I'm ready to get my hair done. I'm supposed to get my hair done too next week. I'm getting mine done on the 24th, but it just, you know how it gets yellow. Yeah. That's the thing with blonde hair is you just cannot keep it up. That's why I'm changing my hair kind of, sort of. Y'all see, just stay tuned because I'm doing something a little different in my hair. Um, I'm growing it out, though, and let me tell you, inches, inches who? Because this is my hair, and I'm growing it out, and she's cute and gorgeous. It does look a lot better. Yeah, I literally, like, only wash it once or twice a week, and I don't put heat on it unless, like, today I did because I went to church, but mm -hmm. I straightened it a little bit. But, yeah, I try to just, like, Wait till it's, like, almost dry, and then I'll blow dry a little bit just so it's not, like, you know, messy looking, mm -hmm. like, greasy looking. But, yeah, um, and I'm taking my collagen and my vitamins. Oh, my God. Lola. And Lola's here. Hey, cutie. Aren't you cutie? Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, if you're new here, this is Lola. She is the queen and the boss of this house. She is my child, and we love her. She's very cutesy, very demure. Demure? She's licking me. Are you demure? I just washed my hands, so like she's smelling stuff on my hands. Oh, what have you been watching? Oh, we usually do that. Movies, TV. Well, I have been watching Once Upon a Time. See, the thing is, I stopped at season four. Mm -hmm. Mean you were watching it and not just because I didn't I just didn't have time to watch it anymore and we weren't doing the podcast every week anymore because you know I started my side business and I've been you know busy and Noah's playing travel baseball so um I'm quite literally never have time to do anything but my mom and Timmy started once upon a time so I'm trying to like catch up so they don't get ahead of me <laughs> they watch this fast I know they're already like Almost done with season three. Dang. And I'm like, okay, like, I need to, I need to catch up. I need to watch. Does she like Rumpel yet or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Does she think he's hot too? No. No. But she does like him. Like, he's like her favorite. He's the best character on the show. He's the best actor on the yes, show, Yes, absolutely. And Peter Pan. 
He's such season a good three's actor. The best season. It is. And like he's such oh a freaking God. good actor. Like I love Peter Pan. Oh my God. I love anything Peter Pan. But <laughs> um RuPaul's Drag Race, um, the Global All Stars is out now mm-hmm. where there's like one queen from each country. And it's really good. So I've been watching that. And Big Brother, of course. Oh, we love Big Brother. Um we're back in the Big Brother <laughs> swing of things. I love Big And I want to talk about Big Brother. I do. I watch the live feeds all the time. That's Me half too. the time when I watch is Big Brother live feeds because there's really not much TV on right now. She just what did she do? bit me. I think it's really good this season, though. We haven't had a yes, good season in a while. This season is so freaking good. And we're going to talk about Big Brother because I got a lot of things to say. So we're going to get there. Okay. <laughs> but yes, of course, we're watching Big Brother. Um, I went to the movies yesterday, and I watched Beetlejuice. I need to go see that. <sighs> it's so good. I am a Tim Burton girly, okay? I love everything Tim Burton. I think his brain is incredible. His creativity is off the charts. Literally every movie he's ever made, I've seen it, and I love it. All of them. Um, I just want to be, like, inside his brain for a day and be like, what, what do where do you come up with this stuff? But mm-hmm. I love it. And it was so good. You know, Michael Keaton reprised his role as Beetlejuice. And, and went on a rider. And went on a rider was in it. And I thought for some reason she was just like doing a cameo, but she's like actually in the movie. Mm. And uh, Jenna Ortega was obviously incredible as That's always. That's his new favorite. You know how yes. he picks a favorite. Because Wednesday, mm-hmm. she got drawn in. By Wednesday. And, I seen this yeah. interview and it was like, why did it take so long for this movie to come out? And they was like, well, we're waiting on Jenna Ortega to be born. You're so right. And make this movie. Absolutely. I want to go see incredible. it. They do $5 Monday movies yeah. around here. And I usually go to the movies then. So I'm going to have to go see that. You definitely need to. It's so good. Um, I need to rewatch the first one. I haven't watched it in a long time. I love the little shrunken head people. <laughs> um, those are my favorite. And in this movie, the main one is Bob. And I would die for Bob. Um, he is my favorite. And he made the movie for me. Like, he was just, he was in it a lot. Mm-hmm. He was just so cute. And I was like, Mom, like, I want, like, I want my own Bob. I want my own Bob to just be my friend. So, if you, if you know Bob, <laughs> send him my way. But, I've been struggling with TV because there's not anything coming on right now. Yeah. We're, we're getting Outer Banks in October. Yes. Though, which is going to make me want to go back to the beach. And The Voice. We're about to get The Voice. Oh, yeah. And Love is Blind. We're I'm going to get Love is Blind, too. with The Stars Girl. And yeah. they just released the cast. And I'm ready. I think it comes out September 17th. Yeah. And I'm all in that into that like i vote i'm there every week that's how i am with the voice you should get into dancing with the stars because they got some good people on there this year i Ooh. love it it was really good last year i, I already picked out voice. my favorites this year like i love to see who the coaches are going to be and like who's going to come back and i only really started watching the voice because of reba mcintyre it's really the only reason why i started watching it and i'm hooked mm-hmm. and i was like i mean i'm still gonna watch it if she's not there but like i love her and Snoop Dogg is going to be on it this season. And I'm like, and Michael Bublé and Snoop Gwen. Snoop Dogg's been everywhere. Did you see him at the Olympics? Yes. Everybody said he was USA's mascot. It's <laughs> Snoop Dogg for the Olympics. I love that. Because he was just there. I love that. But yeah, I'm excited for that. I think that comes on like the 23rd or something. No, I used to watch The Voice. Like when it first came on, mm-hmm. like me and Mama watched it all the time. And like mm-hmm. I kind of took a break. But then when Ariana Grande came on there, yeah. I watched her season. I was really into that. Yeah. And then I'll watch Niall on there because I love him. I love John Legend. And I'm kind of sad he's not going to be on the on the panel this season. Well, he might have other things he's working on. He probably does. That's what usually happens. I mean. People come he, in and out. Yeah. He's he's probably got stuff he got to do, you know. Um, but yeah, I was struggling with TV. But I watched this show called Panic. It's on Amazon Prime. It's only 10 episodes. And it came out a couple years ago, but that was when I was in my deep depression. I think it came out in, like, 2020. Oh, that yeah. was a bad year for yeah. me um, and it, in the world. Yeah, so, in the entire world. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get around to watching it, but I had read the book, um, like, a long time ago when the book came out. But it's only 10 shows, and it's, like, a cute little – it's not really a cute little show. It takes place, like, in a small town, mm-hmm. and it's, like a, like, a teen show, like, the summer after graduation. It's only oh, 10 yeah. episodes, so it was a good little summer binge show. Yeah. And what else did I watch? I'm watching this uh, show. It's called Discovery of Witches. And 
I like it so much, except for the main girl. I'm so sorry. Like, no hate to you. But her acting, she's the worst actress on the show. Oh, And no. everybody else is so much better. Do you know, like, when you're watching it and you can, t- like, and you're just like, uh. Yeah. Like, you're not believable to me. Yeah. And, like, I'm so invested in all the other characters. Yeah. Oh, and then I watched My Lady Jane, which is really good. It's on Amazon Prime. It's a good show. You should watch it. Um, There's a lot of things I read I the need book to watch. too. <laughs> um, I don't even want to tell you what it's about because I just want you to go in blind and just watch it. But it's like a historical retelling, mm-hmm. but it's like funny. And there's like a narrator going throughout the show. Yeah. And like he's just, he's like comedy and he's like narrating it, like the thoughts in your head. Yeah. And it's like a historical thing, but like sometimes they speak in like modern, like, lang- like, yeah terms and stuff and it's just like funny like it doesn't take itself seriously yeah it's just kind of funny twisters was good i watched it twice with glenn powell yeah i think it's on streaming now yeah i feel like it is it should be because a quiet place is on yeah now i need to watch that too i was gonna watch it but i'm scared to watch it at night because i get scared it's not scary (laughs) it's not really not that scary i promise it's good my house is kind of like almost done (laughs) Um, we have approximately like a month and a half to two months left. So there's a lot of, I can't even like give you an update really. Cause like, there's just so much that's been done. Um, but we're nearing the end. Like we literally got an email that was like, Hey, like you're literally almost done. And I was like, wow. Like I'm so ready. And I know like I've come on here before and I'm like, Oh, I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know if I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready now. (laughs) I'm getting anxious. Like, I'm ready to just be out of here and to just move and get, like, I'm I'm dreading moving so bad. Because you know how, like, you don't even know what you have? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's what it's going to be like for me. Like, I know there's so much crap in here that's just shoved somewhere because, like, this house is so small that I don't even know that I have it. And, like, what am I going to do with it? Mm -hmm. so i'm not looking forward to that part but yeah i'm just i'm ready the best thing you can do is just what you've been doing is declutter and like get rid of stuff that you don't need anymore yeah because you probably have a lot of junk that because i did when Mm -hmm. i moved before yes me too like go through because you probably half of this stuff in here you probably don't even want Uh, yeah or it's like old yeah just get rid of everything that you can yeah that's what i'm definitely gonna do um I'm going to be trying to get rid of as much as I can. There's literally over here um, boxes that are just in the middle of my living room floor of stuff because there's just nowhere to put anything at this point. And there is a mattress, like our new mattress is just like laying in Noah's room because there's just nowhere to put anything anymore. So I am extremely ready. And if you are interested, if you care at all, um, I post updates on my Instagram of our home journey and it's in my highlights as home. Um, so you guys can go look there if you are interested or if you're like interested in building a home yourself or like anything like that. Um, I post really frequently on there. And then of course, like after the house is done, I mentioned that I'll be doing like a whole separate video on that. I have literally videos from when our land was completely wooded years ago Mm -hmm. and the whole process of like them clearing it off and I mean from beginning to end like I have a lot of stuff so going through all that making a video is gonna be fun but I'm really excited to like watch it myself Mm -hmm. you know like seeing what it was and what it is now like it's it's gonna be really cool to watch but you know maybe like the end of the year or something I might have that done I don't know but yeah um that's really the update on me just working and getting this house, getting ready to get this house done and baseball and, you know, the usual stuff. That's it. So did you listen to Sabrina Carpenter's album yet? I know I asked yes. you the other day and you said you haven't listened to it fully. Yeah, well, I haven't listened to all of them. Mm-hmm. I listened to the ones that I was like hearing on like social media and stuff that I was like, oh, I'm going to listen to that. Um but I haven't, like, listened to it through and through yet. But I, I do like it, what I have heard of it, though. I like Good Graces. Have you heard that one? Mm-mm. I have to play it for you. Yeah, I like Taste. 
uh, bed cam. Yeah, that one's good. Yeah. Um, and then, like, the one she obviously already, like, released. But um, there was another one I listened to, and I don't remember the name of it. It might be the one you're talking about. I don't know. There was another one that I liked. I don't remember the name of it. But, yeah, it's from what I've heard of it, it's it's good. I, I do like it. I'm on um, Glee TikTok, of course, and, like, there's, like, this account, and it, like, says, like, they're, like, what songs, like, people would sing in the Glee episode and the Sabrina Carpenter episode. Yeah. And they were saying, like, Quinn would definitely sing Taste. Yeah. Like, when Rachel and Finn get back together, and I could just see, like, yeah. her little white voice just singing that and her little cheerleading. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need Glee back so bad. I know. While we're still kind of on the realm of TV, I know we moved off a little bit, but in the stage of reboots, did you hear about the One Tree Hill reboot? I did. I'm scared. And I'm scared they're going to mess it up. I saw that Brooke and Haley and Peyton all posted something. And Haley posted something? She did. Because I didn't think, I don't think she's going to be in it. Well, she they have drama. Well, she posted something. What, let me see. Well, it wasn't like direct. Like she posted about like, she had news coming, and I seen that. Yes. Well, she was talking about her new book, but then she was like, "There's also some other news that yeah. you'll find out later." And I thought it kind of might have had to do with the reboot, something about nostalgia. Do you and know about the drama with her and Hillary? No, because I thought they were all doing like a podcast or something. Okay, so they were doing the podcast, right? Yeah. And, like, they've been friends for years and everything. Well, apparently mm -hmm. Hillary came out with the book. Mm -hmm. And then um, Beth and Joy came out with the book. Mm -hmm. And then there was drama between them about the book. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, About sad. her coming out with the book. And then they were mad. And then one of them left the podcast. And the guy that plays um, Clay came on the podcast to replace him. Oh, wow. Yeah. They weren't even talking. I don't know. That's just what I've seen. But for me, I can't have a reboot without Haley, Nathan, and Jamie. Yeah, I think that Nathan kind of hinted. Yeah, a I little. seen he's doing another show right now, and he said like that's his priority. But yeah. he definitely would come back. So yeah. I don't see him being like a main character in there. I feel like he might pop in and out. Oh, that's so sad. Which is fine. No, it's. I'll not. take anything I can get. But you know Chad Michael Murray is not coming back. Yeah, I, yeah, I figured that. Yeah, him and um, Sophia Bush were married. Yeah, and I don't think that ended on good terms. Yeah, but, I just hope they do it justice. I mean, and I don't want them to do a reboot where they're living someplace else. Y'all need to be living in Tree Hill. Yeah, but you know, like they tore all that stuff down, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm, they can rebuild the River Court, okay? Please don't let it be like the Gossip Girl reboot. Oh, my God. That was awful. I, and I watched it. We watched it. Me and Brandy. And as soon as Hannah got caught up on it, and she was like, okay, and then they canceled it. Yeah, I finally got caught up, and they were like, oh, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. And I was like, you know what? That's probably for the best. Because uh, I think the main girly, the Zoya girl, she yeah. was good. Yeah. I liked her, and I liked Thomas Doe at three. Mm -hmm. um, I like the cast was all right, but yeah. the story just yeah, it, it wasn't it was the, too much. It wasn't a casting issue mm -mm. at all because I liked the characters and I liked the actors that mm -hmm. were in it. Um, that guy that I thought was hot, I liked him. Yeah, I can't think of his name. I can't right think now. of his stern name. God, but I liked him. The one that dated what was her name, Audrey? Yeah, I like her too. Yeah, but yeah, I thought he was cute. Um. And Thomas Doe at three. We, of we course. That goes without saying. <laughs> but, yeah, just do it better justice than you did that Gospel Girl reboot because I just think it's rough. So, is Julian going to be on there? Is Brooke still going to be married to Julian? Are they going to – what about Peyton and Lucas? Are they going to, like, kill him off or say they're not together anymore? Because that's just stupid. Yeah. They're just going to ruin my stuff. I mean, I'm going to watch it yeah. regardless, but – I'm like you. Like, I hope it they do it justice. Mm -hmm. Because when you have such an iconic show like that, that everybody fell in love with, it's like, you need to do a reboot and do it well, or don't do it at all. Like, don't ruin it. So, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I did see where Jake was going to come back. Yeah. And I'm fine if Peyton and Jake end up together. Oh, Because I, I think they love should have been that Jake Jajowski. Jake Jajowski. And 
Mulan from Once Upon a Time or Married in Real yeah. Life. Because I think she's gorgeous. She is. She looks like a literal doll. Like, she's so pretty. The me. Once Upon a Time casting is amazing. On point. Like, it, they get it on point. Right, every single time. My mom texted me the other day. She sent me this random message and she was like, Henry's dead and Rumpel's in a box. <laughs> and I was like, it was so funny she would just like be texting me the most random stuff and like when Belle came like into the picture she was like oh my god Rumpel is the beast Rumpel is the beast I was like yeah I've seen it before she's watched Lost too there's a lot of people yeah. from Lost she that are say on that. Once Upon a Time she said that it's Belle, the same creator yeah that did it she was talking about how Belle was on Lost mm-hmm. and um yeah her and Timmy watched that I haven't seen it yet but um they were talking about how it was a lot of the same cast but yeah. So yeah, off topic we get. <laughs> yeah, I really want to get into Big Brother because I'm itching. I'm itching to talk about it, and y'all are probably literally gonna hate all the people I like. I don't know because I posted a TikTok. Follow me, and Brandy. I posted a TikTok of like my ranking, and I was like, "Oh, they're gonna come for me. Mm-hmm. They're gonna come for me," and they didn't. Like, they were like, yes, perfect. And I was like, I really thought y'all were going to come for me. Because on Twitter, a lot of people, I'm going to get into it, talk about my favorite. Mm-hmm. He's not very well liked on Twitter. So I was like, oh, they're going to come for my head. Don't care. But they actually didn't. So I'm like, what side am I on? What side are you guys on? Mm-hmm. You know. But this season has been so good. Um, I'm still mourning the loss of Tucker. I'm still mourning the loss of Cedric. Cedric. I love Cedric. Yes, me too. I love too. his vibe and I love his energy. I think he's the cutest little thing. I literally don't want to come on here and like talk bad about anybody, but how is Angela still there? How she is she been still going there? She has been gone week two. She's good TV. Like her she char- is. The charcuterie board. And her in the yeah. Pool. It reminded me of like the whole season with Jasmine and the muffin, how Turner oh ate her muffin. That was funny. Yeah. He was in the diary room. He said, yeah, I ate her muffin. <laughs> Turner was like my favorite on that season, <laughs> but this has been the best season we've got in a in a while. Like the last really good season I remember was like when Josh and Cody and Paul and like all of them were on it. Like mm-hmm. that was a great season. So last season was good because you know Jag and Matt were my favorite, and then they ended up like going to the end. So that was a really good season too. Mm-hmm. But this season is just like off the charts good okay do you think took her through that competition because that's been going around i know and it kind of makes you wonder because he was talking on the live feeds about how he just wanted to go home at that point Mm -hmm. and a part of me wants to say he might have but then the other part of me is like you've came so far like why would you stop now Mm -hmm. like with him being the competitor that he is but I don't – it's hard to say. Like, I don't know. I would hope he didn't for, like, the way I feel about Tucker. Like, I would hope that he did not do that. But he was – because Julie asked him. She was like, did you throw it? And he said he didn't. Mm-hmm. But I could see why it would be, like, perceived. Like, maybe he did. But, like, and then again, like, you can't win them all. So it's like maybe he really just lost, you know. He's been saying how he wants to go on the challenge. And I was like, did he just go on Big Brother so he can go on the challenge? Literally, he would dominate the challenge. He would be good on the challenge. I'm going to Because he's all watch. competitions, and that's yes. where they all the challenge is. Like his, yes. His I think win. he would literally dominate the challenge, and I would love to see him on that. Oh, my God. But, okay. Who are your favorites this season that are still there? Yeah, we'll start with that. I know Cedric was in your top. In the morning. Yeah. Um, honestly, Mackenzie, because she's literally had to fight the whole time. Yes. And I feel like they hate her for no reason. They literally, like, why? I think a lot of it's, like, jealousy, honestly. Yeah. I mean, find a flaw on her, I can't. But... I don't know. I don't know that She's for literally sure. had to win to just stay. I know. And, like, and she's I done I feel it. like nobody's really working with her. Yeah. And I'm and like, why would you not? I would be. Because, I mean, she's good at competitions. She seems like she's a sweet girl. Mm-hmm. Like, she's, I mean, I feel like I vibe with her. So, I'm like, why is nobody, like, 
beating down her door to get in an alliance with her. My understanding that. Mm-hmm. I and I like her. Chelsea too. Yes. And I like, I like Cam. I just wish Cam would talk more. <laughs> you know, I do like Cam and I have a love hate relationship with Cam sometimes because there's like one week he's playing the game mm-hmm. and then the next week it's like, where is he? Where did he go? I I don't know. I do like him though. I really do. I like just want him. him to do something. Yeah. I just want him to win something and make a move. Yeah. And start playing. Yeah. But then that's also a strategy too. Like win when you need to and then lay low when you can. Like mm-hmm. that's also a strategy. Like I hate a floater. You you y'all know that about me if you've seen this podcast before, but I like the drama. I like I like it. I can't. I mean, everybody does. Like, that's why you watch. Because mm-hmm. you're here for the drama. But, yeah. I like Cam, too. Anybody else? I'm coming around on Chemo. Me, too. Me, At too. At first, I didn't know, but he's playing. Yeah. I like Chemo pretty good, too. Um, I feel like we'd be friends in real life. Like, he seems like... He seems like a really, like, genuine person. Mm-hmm. Now, there's people in the game that like I like them as a person but in the game I'm like I'm kind of tired of you be like I kind of wish they could get you out not not because I don't like them but like it's just like mm, like I'm ready to move on you know like t is one of those people for me mm-hmm. like I feel like well she's a fellow crochet girly like me so you know like I was drawn to her but I'm kind of waiting on a big move for them to just like boot her because if they don't she's gonna win she's smart she's and I feel very like they don't realize smart. how smart she is she is so smart and she's already proven she can win something mm-hmm. and i'm kind of like oh it'd be juicy if they got her out but i but i like her like i know that doesn't make sense but like i don't know I, and chemo i feel the same way like i i love you but wouldn't it be cool if you left <laughs> Like, wouldn't that make for a good TV? Because, like, these powerhouses in the, in the house right now, it's like T-Core and Chemo, like, low-key, they have been running this game. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, how would it be if y'all were gone? I want to see how, does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like, I like y'all, but I want to see how the game would be played if y'all weren't the mastermind behind everything. And I think Chelsea's very... She's very smart, too. Mm -hmm. She's playing an amazing game, like, really. And I think she has the potential to, like, win, too, if they don't get her out. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to leave, though, because I do like watching her. But seeing Tucker go was hard. And you could tell it was hard for them. Because, like, like it was hard for Julie. Julie wanted to stay. I know. And, like, you could tell it was one of those things where they didn't want him to go. But it had to be done. Mm -hmm. And I get it. I get it. Cam was crying. I know. I was like, oh, my God. He says, let's just sensitive little baby. And it made me like him more. He was bawling. (sighs) Okay. I'm going to see how many of you guys come for me for this. Um, I do like Mackenzie. She is, like, one of my favorites. And I'm Team Quinn. Brandy already knows. (laughs) Mm-mm. I love Quinn. He is my favorite. Uh, I think he's so funny. Like, his diary rooms are my favorite. He just gets in there and hollers, and I just think it's funny. I feel like that's another person, like, in real life, like, we would be cool. Like, we would be buddies. And if I was in the Big Brother house, like, if I could picture myself there, we're on the same vibe. Like, you're goofy. I'm goofy. Like, we don't take things too seriously. Like, we're... We're kind of sneaky. Like, I feel... Now, he's a blabbermouth now. That's what I was going to say. He's a blabbermouth. I can not be in alliance with him because you tell him something. If anybody sits on and talks to him, he's just going to tell you his whole game. I know. I know that. Why would you want to work with somebody like that? I didn't... I I just said we'd be friends. I mean, I didn't have... I wouldn't have to tell him everything. But we'd be cool. Like, we'd be chilling. We'd be hanging out. I love Quinn. And he's good TV, though. Yeah. He is good. T- like, you can't say he's not. He, I feel like without him, it, like, you know, without Tucker, we're already getting more boring, right? And I feel like without Quinn, you're going to get even more boring. So, like, he's, like, one of the bigger personalities. Mm-hmm. And 
I don't know. I just, I liked him from the beginning. Like, from when they did the, like, promo thing. And me and Brandy were, like, talking about it. I was like, Quinn is, like, my favorite. I just like his vibe. I don't know. Like, he's weird. He's quirky. And he just feels like my kind of, like, vibe. I don't know. I'm rooting for Quinn to win the whole damn thing. (laughs) I know he won't. Like, he's in a position right now to where there's probably no way. But then again, I thought that about Jag last season, too. Because I was like, I love Jag, but he has no chance. But he did. So, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I You can't even, like, predict a winner at this point. I could see Chelsea maybe winning. Mm-hmm. I maybe could even see Cam winning. Yeah. At this point. I I don't think we need to count him out. But I think Kimo will probably go soon. Hopefully, Angela will go maybe, I don't know, this Thursday. Maybe she'll go home. I hope. But she's good TV, too. I just... She's good TV, but it's like I feel like annoying. She's, she's gonna go, and T Core's gonna go, Rubina's gonna go, Kimo's yeah. gonna go, Quinn's gonna go. <sighs> oh, that'd be so sad. I don't know how to feel about Rubina really. I don't not like her. I like her fine, mm-hmm. but you're not doing anything that's like standing out to me. Like, if you weren't in that showmance with Tucker, I probably wouldn't even know you were there. Honestly. And it's not that I don't like her. She's, I mean, she's all right. But she's not like, oh, I'm rooting for her to win. Mm -hmm. I think they'll get rid of her probably sooner than later, too. But I could see Chelsea going all the way. I could see Cam going all the way. If they don't get T-Core out soon, she'll go all the way. And don't even get me started on Leah. I almost don't even want to get started on her. I liked her in the beginning. I really I did. did. Too. She is playing the pretty privilege, like, hard. And I get it. If you got pretty privilege, more power to you. You are a very beautiful girl. But you can be beautiful on the outside and be ugly on the inside. And I feel like she is ugly on the inside. Like, because... You know, we watch the feeds, and, like, I see how she talks to people, and then, like, I look at the Twitter stuff, and I'm like, I just don't feel like you're a girl's girl at all. Like, I'm not getting that vibe. Mm -hmm. And you notice that her and Mackenzie don't even, like, really hang out that much anymore, and I feel like Mackenzie's kind of caught on to, like, her vibe. Mm -hmm. She's not liking it. And every time I see her on the feed, she's always with some guy. Like, I, I get the game you're trying to play. I do. And... That that's a strategy, but I don't like it. She needs to stop playing with my boy Quinn's heart. She was uh, all talking to him last night. I was watching the feeds at like three o'clock in the morning. <sighs> she makes me sick. They were all in the bathroom. Nothing made me more sick when he begged her not to use that veto. Literally begged her. Y'all are supposed to be friends, right? You literally did not care. Used it. And then I'm like, Quinn, like, lay it on her. Lay it on her, Quinn. He's like, oh, it's it's fine. And I'm like, Quinn, g- God, I could have backhanded him through the TV. I was like, she's not trustworthy. I, I don't know. I, I really did like her in the beginning, and I gave her a chance. And now we're not friends anymore. I wouldn't be sad if she went home soon, honestly. But let us know your opinions about Big Brother this season. Comment who's your favorite and comment who you think's going to win this season because we're in jury now. So it's getting like kind of down to the wire at this point. And the AI arena's over. Mm-hmm. So it's like regular Big Brother at this point, which I like. And it comes on tonight. I'll be watching. Even though I watch the spoilers and I already know what happens. <laughs> I still like to watch it. it. I know. Because, I, I mean, you can you can get the spoilers, but, like, you still need to watch the episode to see, like, what's going on. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Love Big Brother. Maybe one day I'll be on it. I want to be on it so bad. I know. I think I'd be really good at the circle, though. I think I think I have no chance of winning Big Brother. The ex- For the experience, absolutely. But if I'm trying to win the money, I'm going on the circle. I feel like I'd be really good at that. 
I was talking about Big Brother because I'm really competitive. And, like, them competitions, like, you know, you don't want to win them all. And you mm-hmm. don't want to try so hard because then you'll be a target. Yeah. But I'm so much of a competitor. Like, I want to win. I want to get out there and win everything. I literally and would I could, suck. I couldn't just lose on purpose. Like, I would be trying my hardest. Oh, yeah. Like, like I, Joseph sitting in the... Y'all, that killed me. They're literally watching you. And... I, get, I mean, obviously, I guess they didn't know. Yeah. And he's just chilling. He just went in there and sat down. He was like, you know what? I'm not doing nothing. And then guess what? Your tail went home. Oh, my God. When the, me and Brandy was watching that episode when he got evicted last week. And when his picture went to black and white and they, like, zoomed in on it, he was like, it's, I was scared. I said, that is my sleep paralysis demon. Like, I was scared. I promise we're not haters, okay? We just I funny. didn't like Joseph from the beginning. My thing is is he think he thought he was playing a good game. And he I was did. like, where? 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 Yeah. That's my thing. It's like how do, do- Very Delulu. <laughs> Very Delulu. He, he was just like thought he was just mastermind in the house. It gives what was old girl? Oh my god. It was on Paul season. What Raven? Yes. She said, me and Paul oh, were the, the masterminds. masterminds. And everybody was like, you didn't do nothing. Exactly. Yeah. It's given Just very, delusional. It's given very Raven. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, he could. I was I was all right with him going. I'm just so surprised that the vote was so close. Mm-hmm. But. That's why I liked the AI arena. Because it was like every, it was like really last minute stuff. Yeah. And you couldn't just like side with the house. It was just like. Just go. Just vote. I love that. It was a good twist. Mm-hmm. I love that. And I liked that year when they did the Battle of the Block. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that was Frankie's season. Yeah. I liked that. That was the one where um, Frankie's partner, Caleb, Caleb he, yeah, sat out. he sat out and Frankie won it by himself. Yes. That was iconic, honestly. And so, segueing off of that, I'm so ready for Wicked to come out. Me too. Do you think that our movie theater will be open on Thanksgiving? Because I don't think that they will. Because, you know, they'd be closing for nothing. They're open on Christmas because me and Mama go to the movies on Christmas Day every year. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I got to make it to the movies. Well, so. that's coming out and Moana 2 is coming I out. I know. So, we're going to have to go see both of those. I know. I know. <laughs> and go Black Friday shopping. Oh, my God. We're going to have the best time ever. <laughs> No, I just got like a serotonin boost from thinking about that. <laughs> yeah. Because I love getting up. We're going to have to get up, get our coffee. Mm-hmm. We need to make little shirts to wear. We need to go Black Friday shopping. Yes. And then we're going to be dead tired and then we're going to the movies. Period. And you're going to That gonna sounds have, like my favorite day ever. You're literally going to have all that Thanksgiving food on your belly and popcorn. And you're going to be so sleepy. And you got to stay up. But that's when that's it gets fun. chaotic. Yeah, that's when it that, gets very See, that very just made diluted. my whole day so much better. Like, I just got that little bit of excitement. You got something to look forward to. Yeah, I know. It's really not that far. It really isn't. It's really not. Did you see, speaking of Wicked, um, Renee Rapp auditioned for the Wicked movie. Did she? Yes. So, what was the problem? <laughs> that's what <laughs> I'm What was seeing. the problem? She auditioned for Glenda. Well, I mean... But I okay. could see her playing Glenda or Elphaba because she can yeah. sing. Yeah. And I was like, do you know how many people would just go to the movies just because Ren- Renee Rapp is in it? Yeah. People love Renee Rapp. Like, I get it. Like, Ariana Grande is huge. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. But it was coming out, all the people that auditioned, and apparently Renee Rapp was one of the ones that And she's, like, not in it at all? Mm-hmm. And Dove Cameron auditioned, too. Really? Which she would have been so good as Glenda. She would have. And that's one of her dream roles, too. And, mm-hmm. you know, she'd work with Kristen Chenoweth and Descendants and yes. Hairspray. Yeah. And, like, she loves her, too. Yeah. And I was like, that would have been. That would have been a good one. It would have been a good role. I could see her playing Glenda or Elphaba, too. Honestly, yeah. She can do both. But. Yeah. I am happy with the cast, though. I really do I am, too. Cast. I kind of was, like, rooting for Leah Michelle to, like, audition as Elphaba. I know people hate her, but listen, that girl can sing. Let's be so for real. She literally looks like her. Yes. She looks just like and her. And can sing like her. Mm-hmm. So, why not? Oh, man. I'm glad she got her. She got Funny Girl, though. Yeah. And that was a dream for her. Yes. Yeah. But 
I could have seen it. Yeah. And then uh, Jonathan Bailey is going to be Fiero, which you have mm-hmm. not watched Bridgerton. No. Get on her in the comments to watch Bridgerton and Queen Charlotte so know, she can cry I'm with so me. I'm so behind. Literally, my husband watched Queen Charlotte and I had no clue. You're going to cry when you watch Queen, Queen Charlotte. I watched it all in like a day and I was up. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was watching the last episode and I was just bawling. Like, it's so emotional. I love shows like that. They'll like make me cry. But, um, The Hundred made me cry a lot. Oh, my God. I can't even rewatch that. I'm all on 100 TikTok. I can get back to that in a minute if you want me to. But Jonathan Bailey is going to be Fiero, and he plays Anthony in Bridgerton, and he's probably my favorite in Bridgerton, and he's so good, and he's going to do a great job. But when I was thinking, like, when I was, I was pre, you know, I've been precasting this in my head for forever. Yeah. And I wanted Jordan Fisher to play Fiero so bad. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine him oh, doing yeah. Dancing Through Life? Yeah. he can dance, too. Yeah. And he can sing. And he was my yeah. pick for Fiero. <laughs> yes. Like, can you see it? Yes. Because I can. Absolutely. It would have been so good. Oh, my God. I could see it. Yeah. Oh. I'm so ready for that. But I am happy with the cast. I'll keep repeating that. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Yeah, absolutely. But if they were going to go a younger route, um, either they would have did Renee Rapp or Dove Cameron. Yeah. And Jordan Fisher. Yeah. And or Leah Michelle even. Yeah. She just but, had another baby, I think. Really? She's got two babies? Mm-hmm. Dang. Yeah. She's one of those uh, celebrities that don't post her baby's face, so she just posted a foot. Mm-hmm. But you could definitely tell it was a baby. <laughs> I have a story I want to tell real quick. Okay, so <laughs> y'all know I'm just a single girl, and I spend most of my time either at work or, like, alone. So it's hard for me to get out of the house. And when I do, like, most of the time, like, I do stuff by myself. And it's not, like, I, I have friends, y'all. But my friends have lives and my friends have stuff to do. You got a kid you have to take care of as right. well. And it's hard to hang out with people because, like, different work schedules and stuff. Mm-hmm. And everybody's got a lot going on, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So, if I have the time to get out, like, if I have a day off, I try to do stuff. And most of the time, I do go out by myself. Like, mm-hmm. I told you, like, I go to the movies by myself. Mm-hmm. I do that $5 month because I'm off on Mondays. Right. And it's $5. So, I mean, yeah, it's something to do. Right. You know? Yeah. And the other day, I was like, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble um, just to get out of the house, get me a coffee, because, like, you know, the pumpkin spice is out, so. Of course. I'm basic, and I had to go get that. I got the coffee that you told me to get this time, though. Was that apple? Yes. The apple one? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's the iced caramel apple mm-hmm. latte. And I got it with the oat milk. Bomb. Yes. It was really good. I liked it. Yes. I didn't know about it at first, but it was good. Yes. Like that first tip, I was like, oh, this is interesting. And yeah. then I kept drinking. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. I think I it's like, like it. app exclusive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really good. Get the app and, and order it. It's really <laughs> good. Anyway. But so I had to, I sit there. I, I got me a piece of cheesecake too because mm-hmm. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't help it. They had the pumpkin cheesecake, and it was mm-hmm. so good. I love pumpkin stuff. But I was sitting there. I read my book for about 30 minutes, and then I'm shopping around, and I noticed this guy. Well, first of all, I'm sitting, like, I'm bent over, like, looking at the books and everything. And then, you know, you can just feel when somebody's watching you. Mm-hmm. You just have that gut feeling. And then I turn around, and there's this guy. And, like, if I'm standing, like, here, like, he's just a little bit behind me, and he's just staring at me. Like, he's not doing anything. He's not looking at anything on the shelves. He's just sitting there staring. And I just put the book down that I was looking at, and I walked the other way. And this guy does not look like the typical kind of guy that would come in the Barnes & Noble. Right. He, like, his, and I'm not judging y'all. I, I really am not, but I was really creeped out. Like, he looked like he was homeless. Like, yeah. he had, like, his clothes were tattered. He mm-hmm. had a book bag. He had a blanket in his hand. Like, he looked like he just came off the street right. to get and I felt really uncomfortable. And at first, I was like, okay, maybe he was, like, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. And yeah. Maybe he was just wanting to get in that section. Yeah. I just, I go off to the complete other side of the store and start looking over there. hmm And I had stuff in my hand, too, that I was going to buy. hmm And so I go off. I'm at the romance section. Yeah. I turn around. I'm looking out. Look the other way. He's standing on the other end of the aisle staring at me. And that's when I was like, okay something's up yeah like i'm uncomfy like, yes 
Yeah. And I was really about to ask a worker to walk me to my car because I really felt, like, unsafe. Yeah. And I was like, well, I can't go and check out because he's going to know. That you're leaving. That I'm leaving and he's, he could be out there waiting on me. Exactly. So, I just put my books down and I was about to go ask somebody. But then I seen these two, like, young girls, if you see, like, an older lady, like, Go up to her because she will protect you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I seen these like older ladies, and they were walking out, and I would just like got with them, like I was leaving with them. Yeah, and I went out to my car, and I made sure like I took so many like different turns, like the wrong way, right. just to make sure I was out. Yeah, but like you never think like bad stuff is going to happen to you, and like I really thought I like I couldn't. I was trying to get out of it. Like I like my heart mm-hmm. rate was. I was scared. Yeah. And, like, I just going to the bookstore. I should not be scared. Yeah. To go to the Barnes & Noble. Right. Like, this world has gotten so bad. Awful. Yes. Absolutely. Especially being, like, a young woman. Yes. In this day and time. And I called my mom. I was like, listen, there's this guy. Like, I was scared. I yeah. was like, I. Uh, yeah. And I just. And. I've told the story a couple times now. But, like, I felt very uncomfortable. And, like. Then, like, I just, I got got home and I just started crying. I was like, I literally can't even go to the bookstore and do yeah. anything because of the way people are now. Yeah. And, like, you know, I'm really trying to move out. Like, I want to live on my own. But I was like, do I want to, honestly, mm-hmm. live on my own as a woman? Like, that's scary. It is. And coming from, like, Brandy, like, I've known her for a very long time. And I'm always the paranoid one. It's always me, like, making a big deal out of probably nothing. Mm -hmm. And Brandy's always the one that is like, oh, like, it's fine, you know. But, like, I know when she told me this story, it was for real. Like, Like she doesn't get freaked out out like that. I do. I I always think somebody's out to get me. (laughs) But, but I mean, it's not a bad way to think, honestly. Like, I am always aware of my surroundings. Yeah. But, like. It got where I was going different parts of the store and he was always just there. Yeah. And that he was staring at me. Yeah. I felt very, very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'm trying to think, like, because I am wanting to move out and live on my own. And I was like, am I even able to do that? Mm -hmm. Like, it, there's so much, there's so many bad things going on in the world right now. There was a school shooting near us. Oh, my God. Yes. Awful. It was awful. And I'm praying for those families. Yes. That's terrible something nobody should have to and honestly through. with that whole situation the fact that they're charging the parents i honestly think is a good wake-up call mm-hmm. because you that child literally a child you are 14 years old you are still a child okay a lot of people might say oh that's not no you are literally still a child okay you are not an adult you are not 18 years old you're a minor mm mm-hmm. The fact that he had access, not only had access to it, but the gun was bought for him for hunting purposes is what I saw on TikTok. Okay, if you say, hey, like, I want to take my son out hunting. I'm going to get him this gun for Christmas. Lock it up. Lock it up. And it's hard for me to believe that this child wasn't showing signs that he was troubled. The dad even said in an interview that, like, he was being bullied in school. So, like, you know, like, a pattern. Like, this child is obviously, like, mentally ill. He's having bullying problems in school. And you're just, like, leaving this gun out. And how did you get that, literally, like, an assault rifle into the school when nobody saw you? Mm -hmm. You know? I I don't understand that. Now, I could see, like, maybe a handgun being in somebody's book bag. I could see how somebody might sneak that in. But a literal rifle... How? The schools near us have gotten better. Like, they have, like, metal detectors yes. and, like, extra security. Like, it's definitely a lot different than yes. when we went to school. Absolutely. But, so, I just don't see. And I even feel like when we were in school, like, we didn't worry about stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like, and then, you know, kids go to school and think they're going to be safe. Like, they're like, oh, like, I'm in school. There's all these adults around me. Like, I, I'm safe. That's what I seen this girl on TikTok that went to that school, and she was, like, she was traumatized. Like, she yeah. did not want to go back to school. I, I and don't I could see her. that. I don't blame her. Yeah. I'd be, uh-uh. I yeah. would never feel safe there again. No, absolutely not. Was It was a middle school, was it not? I think it was a high school, was it? They're 14. They're in high school. Okay. 
I've, it's been it's been a long time since I've been in high school. I'm I'm with you. I'm praying for those families. It it's tragedy, really. Um, but yeah, like I'm scared to live in this world right now, and that's like mm-hmm. coming from me. Like I'm usually like the whatever. Let's go do whatever. Yeah. But now, like I've gotten to where I just overthink everything so much, mm-hmm. and like it's hard to even get out of the house because I overthink all the things that could go wrong. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, like, and it's like, I want to go out and live my life, but I'm scared to. Yeah, like, back in, like, when our parents were growing up, they would just walk to the store by themselves and, mm-hmm. like, didn't have to worry about, like, ride somebody bike snatching the road them up. in the middle of the night. Yeah, like, you know, me and my mom used to ride bikes at this local kind of park thing near us. We used to, like, ride bikes down there all the time. And my mom used to walk and run down there. And then, you know, that happened to her. She had an incident where this guy was literally trying to get her and it's like you can't even like do that anymore. you can't live no because it's scary yeah and it's like you have a hard time trusting people you know because mm-hmm. it's like oh i don't know if you have good intentions or not mm-hmm. like you were saying in the dating world now oh my god you like these dating, dating apps and stuff <laughs> like you can't that's like i've had friends say well just get on get on tinder you know all the, i'm like i'm no mm-hmm. The so dangerous culture of dating and this this hookup culture and everything. Yeah. Like it's I'm not into that. Yeah, I'm not either. And all those guys that are on all those dating websites, you know, they're talking to about ten other girls too. Yeah. yeah. I'm just it's just gonna happen. And people are like, Well, you gotta get out there, it's not gonna happen for you. I was like, It will when God wants it to and yeah. I will meet them. I would like to meet somebody just in real life. Like, yeah. I, I, if you're on a date nap, I'm sorry. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Because exactly. I know why you're on the date nap. Right. I feel that. That's my biggest flex is that I'll never have to date anybody ever again. So lucky. Oh, my God. Like, it's so weird being the first out of my friend group that's, like, married. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird because, like. You know, y'all all talk and they're like, oh, like, I'm dating this guy. Or I'm talking to this guy. And I'm like, I don't even remember what that feels like. Because me and Dee's been together for six years. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it feels like to flirt with somebody. I don't remember what it feels like to be going on a first date. And I don't want to. It's scary. <laughs> I don't want to. I, like, I went on a date this year. And, like, I, my anxiety was so bad. Yeah. Like, the days leading up to it, I could not, I didn't eat it all. Yeah. Like, I went and got food, and I had, like, a burger. I went to Wendy's and got, like, a burger and fries. Yeah. I ate, like, a bite of it, and I ate two fries, and that was all I could stomach. And then I was throwing up. Like, I, my anxiety was out the roof. Because mm. you don't, yeah. you just don't know, you know? Yeah. It's scary. It is, yeah. Especially, like, now. Yeah. You know. Speaking yeah, of. I'm so glad I don't have to do that anymore. Like, high school, do you know how much they do for those kids now that they did not do for us? Yeah. Like, my little cousin's a senior, and they were doing their senior sunrise. I yeah. was like, did you see that? Yeah. And they get to, like, decorate their parking spots yes. now. They get to paint their parking spots. Yeah. That's they're, so cute. They're doing the whole early college thing where you can go to college and come yeah. out with an associate's degree yeah. from high school. I would have done that. Do you think we would have passed? I don't know. In college classes. Oh, I don't know. But I would have tried. Probably not, but we would have tried it. Yeah. I mean, at least I can say I tried. Because imagine being 18 and you're coming out with a degree already. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, And I love it for the younger kids. Yeah, of course. It's yeah. like, man, we didn't get none of that. No. <laughs> they didn't care about us. No. But mine and Brandy's 10-year high school reunion is next year. I'm scared. Are you going to go? Yeah. Because me and Dee graduated, like, we all graduated the same year. So, like, you know, me and Dee kind of feel like, yeah, we should go, you know. But, yeah, you should go. I mean, go see what it's about, I guess. I just hate half those people so much. Well, I'm sorry. I mean. We'll have each other. Because yeah. Caitlin, well, Caitlin's not going to go. You don't think so? No, she told me she wasn't going to go. Why? She doesn't want to. I want to go. Like, I mean, I just kind of want to see what everybody looks like. Like, I mean, I'm friends with people on Facebook, of course, but like, you know, a lot of people moved away and stuff and they mm-hmm. might come back for it. I don't know. But I just think it'll be like, it'll be like nostalgic. Yeah. You know? 
yeah i just want to go see i'm excited about. because like they the kids put on like a thing for yeah. every year and i'm like what are they gonna do for what are they gonna do 2015 they think we're ancient <laughs> they think we're ancient i feel like they're gonna be trying to do they're some like, of the dances we used people. to do but the thing is is they don't realize like we're not old no they think we are they though. think we are but we're really not I'm old. Like, oh my god, look at these old people out here. That's and it wild. goes by so fast. Uh-huh. Like, like we're really not old. No. We're just now starting to live. I just had a birthday. Yeah, you're old now. Yeah, I'm 27 now. I've been 27 for a while, so I'm about to be 28. Yeah, Dee's gonna be 28 mm-hmm. literally next month. I was thinking because we were planning on going on a cruise next year, and I was like, Dee's gonna be like 29 on that cruise. <laughs> Oh my god, he's literally gonna be like almost twenty nine. <laughs> We're taking a big cruise next year. But I feel like everybody's gonna be at the reunion being like, Yeah, I have like three kids and I'm like I'm like, Yeah, I don't have any. Uh-huh. Like I feel like everybody's married except for me, I swear. No. No, I promise no. Or everybody has a career. Like everybody has something. And I'm like, man, I don't even have You'd an apartment, surprised. bro. You'd be surprised. But I'm going to say I have aged very well, so. Yes, I'm still pretty. Yeah. I don't want to be a hater, but sometimes, I'm sorry, Jesus. It comes out. (laughs) He's still working on us every day. He works on everybody every day. That's right. Um, But I'm excited, yeah. I'm going to go for sure. Yeah. Might as well. What's it going to hurt just to go? Mm Mm-hmm. We're going to try to talk to I just want to show up, and I want to look pretty, and I want to have everybody think, dang, why didn't I talk to her back in the day? You never because know. Because they probably will. And you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna reject know. them. Because I hate all But y'all. you never know. Somebody you might not even have thought about in school might show up, and then you'd be like, oh, dang, like they had a little glow up, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all might get to talking, and you'd be like, oh, my God, where have you been all my life? And then there's only, there's like one person from school. That I would talk to if they came up to me. And y'all don't know him. But you know exactly who I'm talking about. If you think about it. I know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> there's one, there's know. one person. But there might be somebody you forgot about. I don't know. I feel like, you know, we know everybody in this town. That's small towns. I don't know. Sometimes I look through that yearbook and I'll be like, I know them. But I forgot about them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I remember them. But it's just like they left my memory for some reason. You never know. We are going to be on here as much as possible. So please, if you just, if you made it this far, please like and comment and subscribe and share and rate us five stars on Spotify, Spotify. whatever else we're on. Apple Podcasts. I don't know. I pay for it, but (laughs) (laughs) they take my money every month. (laughs) Right. We do have a lot going on and obviously you can tell we're both exhausted, but we're still trying to film content. Because yeah. we work and we do have lives and it's hard out here. I have made a decision that I am going to post the vlog from Mystic Falls. Yay. So I'm going to obviously like edit this episode and I'm going to go ahead and start working on it. So subscribe to our personal YouTube channels. I'll have those in yes. the description And as follow well. me on TikTok. I've been more active on TikTok lately. Me too. I'm trying to get up on there. I'm trying to get my bag. I heard that Alex Earl makes like $70,000 a week on TikTok. Yeah. And it just makes me want to post more. I'm going to start posting recipes. Oh. Because I'm a cooking girl. So. You need to post your crochet stuff. And I want to post my crochet stuff. It's so hard, though. They, I've seen these people have, like, these things. Like, you put your phone yeah. in so you can record. Yeah. Doing the I got to get me one of them. And you can use that for cooking, too. Yeah. Let you me really need you guys, to get one of them. You know, if you guys want to follow my TikTok, you know, I might buy one of them. <laughs> and it'll be linked in my storefront. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be in my storefront that nobody buys I want to be one of those of. girlies, man. We're going to we're gonna do it one day. Yeah. I'm literally, like, we live in such a small town. And I'm so poor. Like, literally, the only hope for a living is for me to blow up on TikTok. Literally, Caitlin's TikTok famous. Yeah, I know. Hate. I'm just kidding. Hate, hate, hate. Double hate. hate. Double hate. <laughs> Loathe <laughs> entirely. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. We love her, support her. That's our girl. Yes. But I'm trying to get like her. Same. But she, I mean, she she do the thing. She do. She got time to do I the get, thing. So, every time I post something, do you ever like, man, that was cringy. Like, I no. cringe at myself sometimes. I'm like, dang, I'm hilarious. <laughs> See, I think I'm hilarious, but I'm like, these other people don't get it. You know? Well, that's their fault. <laughs> They're not supposed to be in your circle if they don't get it. No. Some of these people, I'm like, listen, get off. Stop me in my profile. I put the things that I want y'all to see on Facebook. 
Y'all go over there. <laughs> yeah. Like these people that I know in person. Yeah. I know you're looking at my TikToks and judging me. But when I start making money off of there, don't be saying I was her friend back in the day because you Period. weren't. Yes. Don't be like, oh my God, I know her. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Don't know her. But obviously, this is season two of our podcast. And I was thinking, because obviously, like, we're going to be struggling to get episodes in. But if yeah. you follow us on TikTok, you will get more content Absolutely. over there. Absolutely, yes. And Hannah has a lot of vlogs up. And there's a vlog on my channel as well, which yep. will be linked. My but new vlog coming soon. I think, like, once you get settled in your new house, like, we're going to have Things a different little place to film and i think that's when we'll start our season three yes. and we'll try to be more active absolutely but it's just a lot going on right now yeah so, like in my my life is is crazy right now but you know things might be a little skimpy uh, i still want to be active on tiktok though that's going to be like my main priority and for us like our podcast tiktok as well as much you know brandy too but I'm going to be most active on there and, like, my Instagram stories. Like I said, like, I post a lot of updates, like, you know, my crochet stuff, my home stuff. Like, a lot of that's in, like, my highlights. So, that's where a lot of my stuff will be also. And, you know, with me getting ready to move, like, pick up everything and move is going to be crazy. And Brandy's obviously going to be helping me. And yeah. I get excited for my friends because I like such when a things trait grow to have. Home. <laughs> that's such a good trait to have because like jealousy is really ugly and i just can't fathom being like that and like anytime oh something happens for one of my friends i'm like oh my god like i'm as happy for them as i would be for myself mm -hmm. and like i just don't get like and some people ain't and y'all can you can tell the ones that ain't i'm yeah. gonna just say that <laughs> yeah obviously we will start filming more once hannah gets moved in yeah. like we're gonna have a set space yeah and we're gonna make it cutesy cutesy very and cutesy very mindful that's not very even gonna be the moi. trend <laughs> it's changing so fast like the trends you gotta keep up i know that might be already gone it's already gone is it probably oh. i still say it very du moi very du mere du moi and we're creeping up on 100 y'all creeping we're creeping up on 100 and if y'all get us to 100 we'll have a party a pizza party with beer and we'll do a special episode I with a little get, cake with 100 on it yeah i really want to get up um on the subscribers because i want to start a patreon really bad yeah and like because I, I like oh, when like some of my cr favorite creators they have a patreon and mm -hmm. they go wives and sit there and talk to their patrons yes. and like you get more content absolutely and that's something i want to do but we got to get the people in here first correct so um that's all for now that's all the energy we have you can see we're slowly dying but we are still filming so it's yeah. fine so again please subscribe and get us closer to our goal of 100 subscribers and please uh rate us like she said and like this video and hopefully we'll be seeing y'all again soon. But for now, it's ta-ta. That's not your new saying. <laughs> I'm not going to try to make that happen. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.